Hi, we're Menace and Lords and we're in a studio in Germany and we're going to take you through our track Natural High. It was made in one of those magic nights. A uh, really, really simple structure um, was made quite quick. I started off with a kick, like with a usual techno track. Um, then added some, some effects, some hi-hats. Uh, back in the days I was working with a machine nowadays. I'm working with the MPC Renaissance, so I had, we had to exchange that. Um, otherwise, the track was, the, all the synth parts were mainly done with a virus and there's, I think, one sound taken from the silence. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, this track was, um, it stood out to me because it's the, the kind of the most electronic or techno-y sort of vibe, which I really liked because, yeah, we've, some of the other stuff we've done is a little bit more organic. Um, so it was good to do something like this. Um, and because it was that, that kind of like, had that trajectory of a techno record of like a long build, it, for me it was a case of just like nailing down sections um, and structuring it into a song. So it's a case of sitting back, live, giving it a lot of space and like almost like rather than being like a narrative sense of verse and chorus, like just almost like collection of hooks for one, you know, that might sound a bit cheesy, but that's kind of what, what works quite, quite often. But then at the same time, it's nice to give it like a bit more of a theme, like lyrically. Like, you know, I, I love like techno records that have just like a little vocal sample. But at the same time, I think it's missing a trick. If you can like put some depth into it with the lyrics, then why not? You know, I think that's one thing that sort of bugs me sometimes about electronic music and vocals is that it's almost used as a tool. And I think if you're good, if you, you know, if, if you've got some ideas, then you could write some good lyrics, you know, why not? <laughs> it was a remote one in, I worked on my vocals in London and then we brought them together just on the internet. <laughs> which is running through the whole track is coming from the virus um, and it's pretty much it was recorded in, in one long take um, so it was just filtering around and I, I chopped it together to a, um, to a structure which in the end fits Simon's uh, voice arrangement um, normal filter stuff up and down going through the whole track yeah, it's 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 the sound at all comes from from the virus. So I just um, audio recorded it, the audio part. Um, then we have um, another another synth coming from the silence. It's a basic preset. Um, it's called Chicago. I just twisted it a little bit. It's just you know to make it a little bit more pushy. Also a little bit filtered, a little bit modulated, as you can see here, just the, the, the filter cutoffs. Um, then we have the virus lead. Uh, this was also just audio, all the effects are also coming from the virus directly. Then we have um, also another virus sound. I called it Spark as I wrote down the original um, preset somewhere. Again, all the effects are coming from the virus. Um, then we have off head some some kind of um, little effects, small cutted things. I've programmed it back in the days, as I said, a machine. Um, so, yeah, I've exported it as an audio, put it in an arrangement again. Um, what else is there? A kick, <laughs> some more, more things in the, in, the, um, in the beat, but overall, it's, it's quite simple structured and um, 
less is more these days, so um, I didn't want it to overload it with kind of sounds. I even took away a lot of things which were originally there and took it out later when, when um, Sam's vocal got in. So. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm always uh, working a lot um, with uh, the loudness, so um, I'm always trying to, to um, you know, when I, when I don't need a sound in, in like a verse part or something like that, I'm trying to, to not, not mute it sometimes, I only put it low in volume. So it's still there, it's still ongoing, you know, especially with a track like, like a Natural High, which is more a driven, driven track, like more technoish track. Um, so, um, yeah, I was working with a lot of automations, most, mostly uh, only filter and uh, loudness level. Yeah. And then it goes down very, very slowly. Again, everything is done live, you know, I'm, I'm not like drawing something in, I'm not, like, I'm not that um, picky. Because the track had a lot of space, I used things like harmonies and ooze to like put harmonic shifts between verse and chorus, if you know what I mean. I jumped the cliff, I climbed down, I run the bulls, I bathe in sound. And this is a single, single vocal. So sometimes I'll triple track the lead vocal and have two hard pans if you want that like real saturated kind of pop sound. But this is more sort of minimal, straight down the line. Um, I've, I've added a, a Diesa, a Waze Diesa, um, Renaissance Vox compressor with a little gate on it, um, the UAD LA2A, a little stereo enhancer from, from Cubase, uh, which I quite like to, to use, especially with, when you have space. Um, I have a little, another delay from Waze. Um, <laughs> the, the, the small versions of the room works from Cubase and another reverb from, from Waves so with a pre-delay in the mind. Three reverbs. Yeah. We have, we have a lot a of lot. space to fill, you know. And then there's... <laughs> when it... Because it's got this vocal. If you just play it. Come back for more. I fight the fight. I chase my bits. Tattoo your name across my chest. I drive at speeds that spin my head but yes, Awake all night It's a natural high When you're near the spin It's right When the source compressor I fly U UAD All the wings Stereo. of love Fill me Eight with delay. desire Room work Fireworks go as well there from the verse to that bridge section it went from one vocal down the middle to like a wide thing to build it up basically i quite often do that like change between stereo and mono for verse and chorus or whatever and then yeah i mean looking looking at it it seems bizarre to you know just put um three uh, uh reverbs on on a channel but it works again you know there's there's no um recipe to to really produce a track everything comes out of the creating process, and uh, that's that's a re really great uh, freedom in electronic music to read. Just do whatever you're feeling, mm. and so if if I if I feel to you know put put on like three uh, reverbs, why not? And it works. I mean, yeah. it sounds fantastic. And like with this track, there's the verse, and then that section that was just on. I guess it's a bridge, but for me it's kind of a chorus because then when this next section, which is the sort of the chorus, 
it's got a lovely melody coming from the synth, so the vocal sits back and just does a little hook. So in some ways, the bridge is the vocal chorus, but then the, the main hook <laughs> is the synth. We haven't really thought about DJing. Um, doing it live is something that we're kind of thinking about. I think when we were making it, there wasn't any thought, which was maybe in hindsight a bit daft. <laughs> <laughs> because you do, like you say, you need to be able to present it to people. But at the same time, I quite like the fact that we've made this kind of old-fashioned studio record that was that is kind of epic and sprawling and impossible to play live. <laughs> you know, we've shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, but at least we've done it. <laughs> and if the the next record, I think that's one of the things we're thinking about is keeping it keeping it kind of more minimal and more possible to take live without a, an orchestra. Well, I mean, you know, you, you develop yourself over, over the years. I mean, your, your, your mind is changing, your, your ideas are changing and stuff, you know. And, um, so for me, it really became clear that, I mean, you ca I can't DJ forever. I did that for a few years, you know. I traveled around the world, I saw everything. I played in the biggest clubs, but there's coming a point where I was really fed up to play, you know, other people's music and, and the whole thing just imploded, to be honest. I mean, everybody's able to, to DJ these days and so for me all this magic is, is, is taken away. You know. One thing we've talked about from the start is just how important YouTube is and having videos. Mm. Whether it, and they don't have to be, you know, MTV style videos, just like visual stuff that is you connected to the music, you know, that, I think that's what I would say, it's like, don't stop at the music, go the whole way, make some videos and, you know, usually if you're making music it's because you've got some sort of attitude, you know, about stuff, so express that as well in, in the whole thing and, and labels want to see that now, they want to see somebody who's like, got a visual identity and and is open to, you know, like maybe bringing in mates that make videos, like creating something around it. I think that's mm. really important now. Yeah, me too. I mean, these days try to connect us as much as possible. I think that's social media stuff. It's all about that, just trying to connect, try to go to DJ gigs and meet the people you want to meet, or try to go to record companies and, and to set up dates or get a great lawyer who has a big, lot of contacts, or you know maybe you, you contact a manager who would be interested in you, or a booker can be a star. There's so many ways to really go into that business, but as again, as said, it's, it's so hard because so many people are doing it these days. Um, so it's like, like, like doing a lottery. In writing, you just have to kind of feel it. It does, you know, like quite often songwriters like write bridge now chorus, and it's very structured. But with working with this sort of track, you have to kind of feel feel your way a bit. <laughs> And the vocal just kind of backs it up. I mean, when when I start with a, a like, you know, like um, with a, with a, with a virus sound, which I've, which I've done in this case, I'm looking for for something. Um, for example, here the, the bass is missing, so I was looking for something which is um, which is pushing the bass. So I found this in the silent. I'm I'm, all, I'm for bass stuff. I, 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 I use a lot of VST stuff these days, because you know it's just the bass. So um, for electronic stuff. So it, fit, it fits together quite, and there's a little slight delay in it as well, which makes it a little bit more like, you know, we want to go forward. And then as, as, as the production is starting, I'm, I'm just trying to find sounds w which are really just fitting in the context. And uh, um, then just balancing it volume-wise, maybe taking away slightly from, 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 the, from the low ends. But otherwise, I'm not EQing so much these days. One of the things I really like about Cuba is it's not like panicking if, you, if you're just clipping it a little bit. It's, uh, it has this, um, yeah, I don't know what, what they programmed, 
<laughs> but it, it, it's worked much better than other programs I've, I've tried out. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I mean, why not? Again, it's a techno track. Everything is allowed, you know. So I can try something in the red. That's not a problem. Um, the mast again. I mean, everything collects in the in the Ramsar DA7, then runs through chain. Um, 30, uh, 630 Elise's compressor and then um, a Paltec IQ. That's pretty much it. The, dr the drums are going in the SSL outboard compressor. Okay. Going back in the, in the Ramsar DA7. It's pretty much really the automation which, which makes this whole thing sound like very, very complicated, but it's, it's, it's not. I mean, the, the, the basic sounds are really just running through. It's ma mostly loops. It's just modulated through the whole track. And then there's, come, there's adding something more like, you know, this, this virus lead, which is just opening the whole track. And you think like, wow, that's a new track. And this makes it like ongoing and, and, and fresh all the time without getting bored. But it's, it's, in fact, it's just the same loop going through. I'm, I'm using send and returns, especially with the outboard gear I have in Sonic DP4. I'm still using a lot stuff like this. It, it's beautiful to use. And then, I, you know, I can side chain it with something or even with the vocal itself. Um, Everything is allowed again. Yeah, there's a side chainer on every, every, not every track, not on the vocals, of course, but on the, yeah, it's pretty much on, on, on nearly every channel. I'm using the, 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 the Steinberg side chainer these days. Does the job really well. Nothing to say. On the bass, I have uh, the LA2A again, um, Renaissance bass compressor. I have um, the L3LL. A fab filter. Um, this is off. Yeah, that's it on the bass. Pretty much, I'm, I'm, as, as I'm going in the 3630 compressor, um, it's making it um, through this LFO em emulation chain. It's kind of making it like pumping more, you know. So um, it works pretty pretty well with the with the as we heard, it works really well with the, with the reverb stuff. I've used the ping pong delay on on the sparkles. <laughs> That's a ping pong delay and a pen. So if I turn that off, it will just like this. Um, there's some, the reverb is off, and but there's a slide come a slide side training on. And again, it's just in the back, you know. You don't really hear it when the main part is there. The swap, I think, is a, it's, it's, a, it's a sample, very short sample, and I just, I just time stretch it, so it makes this effect. <laughs> just the time stretching from Cubase itself. That's a little bit of a noise thing. Which is gated. The noise is gated. I think with a kick or something, or with a bass. Again, these are all these uh, little, 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 little things all together making that 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 groove. You know, it's um, uh, the snare. The snare is a sample. I don't even know where I have it from. I started ages ago to to collect my own samples. Don't know where it's coming from. Hmm. 
maybe it's even even a kick from 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 the uh, or snare from the um, or it was a kick once from the virus and you can you can easily make you know a little bit of, of noise and stuff you can easily make a snare out of it could be like could be done like this um, then there's a snare from machine on, in it just a short one um, electro kick very short and then a deeper kick <laughs> I don't like to lay, lay kicks at all. It's just like, again, it's techno, everything works, you know, everything what, what is allowed works. If it sounds right, it, it's okay. Why not doing it? <laughs>